I'm not going to look for a scapegoat. I'm the governor. The buck stops with me. I accept the responsibility for it, but I also accept the responsibility of being able to make corrective actions as they come into the future. Governor Nathan Deal there accepting the blame for the snow response or lack thereof. This is how today's Atlanta Journal-Constitution framed it, though. Framed it in a font larger than the masthead itself. There it is. Governor apologizes. That big, bold headline about how his government handled the winter weather and massive, massive traffic jams could not have come at a worse time for Nathan Deal. He's up for re-election and already looking over his shoulder at a federal probe involving ethics complaints and his first run for governor. And then there's Deal's challenge to his right. Our next guest, David Pennington, the mayor of Dalton, Georgia, challenging Governor Deal for the GOP nomination. Uh, good to see you, sir. Thanks for being with me. Glad to be with you. Georgia governors who want a second term almost always get it. Why is it different this time around? Well, you know, this uh, situation in Atlanta with the uh, snowstorm and the traffic situation uh, this points out the failing of Nathan Deal's uh, really three years in office. Uh, th this was obviously the most publicized, uh, but he's had uh, quite a few other faux pas leading up to this. The state government health plan, which turned into a very, very d difficult situation. You know, the, his ethics issues. You know, we can go on and on and on. Hopefully this will really illustrate the failure of his three years in office. Uh, Georgia. But Governor Deal, again, granted he, he took responsibility for it, but uh, there are others who've argued that it, it wasn't just the governor uh, who should get some of the blame down there in, in, in Georgia. And here's the other part. Once you get into the hot summer days, are, are folks really still going to remember the snow response, you think? Oh, I mean, they're still talking about 2011. And keep in mind, this was not something uh, that Nathan Deal was and shouldn't have been prepared for. His own inauguration three years ago, the same thing happened. And he promised Georgians then that they were going to appoint a commission or a committee, come up with a plan to make sure they'd be able to handle the next situation better than uh, they did the first time. Well, obviously, if they had a plan, they didn't execute the plan. But nobody's told us now what the plan is. He's saying he has to, uh, once again, appoint another commission, which sounds like his 18 years in Congress, so why would we have any more confidence in this one when he promised us three years ago we were going to have a plan? Mayor, uh, today, things pretty much back to normal down there? Uh, today in Atlanta, I think they're getting closer back to normal. They're, I think the schools are still out. But to shut down, you know, really basically the Atlanta economy, which is, you know, probably 80 percent of the GDP of Georgia for four days, I mean, that's an economic disaster for a state which is still struggling to get out of the recession from four years ago. Dalton, Georgia Mayor David Pennington. Mayor, thank you for your time, sir.